Can side income help you escape the nine to five grind? Well, in my video, that is what I'm going to be exploring. I'm gonna show you the side incomes that I have and also talk about the plan that I am using in order to get to that goal of not having to go to a brick and mortar. If that sounds like something you might be interested in, continue watching. All right, we're gonna start with my side income. The first one that I have is SAT leader. Now, a SAT leader is a position at a school, so I'm very fortunate as a teacher, I have lots of opportunities for extra income. And a SAT leader, all they do is that they help teachers with students that are struggling academically and or behaviorally, and just do some extra paperwork. And that position allows me an extra $2,000. So $1,000 is given to me in the winter and the other thousand in the spring. The next one I have is team leader. And team leader is the one that's kind of in charge of the group. So I take in, I go to meetings, and then if there's things that need to be distributed or information to be shared, I'm the one that does that. And that provides me about $600. So again, $300 in the winter, $300 in the spring. I am also have done summer school, and that one, it used to be more, but now it's about $2,000. And I'm not going to explain summer school, you know that. And then I also do tutoring, and that one is right now about $1,500 for the winter. And then, fingers crossed, I will be able to do it in the spring for another $1,500. And so, now, there are other two side incomes that I am starting and I'm hoping will be profitable in the future. The first one is what you're watching, YouTube. I'm hoping to get monetized and having that bring in, I'm hoping good money, but at least start off with something. And the next one is I have started with KDP in creating notebooks and coloring books, agendas, and so I sell it through Amazon. That one I've been able to sell two things, so it's starting, but it's one that will take time, so I just have to be patient. If you are interested in looking at what I have created with my daughter and stuff like that, the information about it is in the description below. And the other one I have is not necessarily like a side income, but it is extra income that I get passively. And that is called TESOL endorsed. So as a classroom teacher, I teach students that not their first language is English. So I have strategies that I know how to use in order to reach those students so they can access the curriculum. And so you do get extra money for that. And it's $1,500. I get $750 in the winter, $750 in the spring. And the last one, is not really a, uh, like a, some people might consider it side income, but it technically is, and that is the stock market. And I'm really focusing on the dividends as side income, but right now I'm just reinvesting so that money's not coming to me. But it makes enough that I can pull from it and use it where we need it. And if it turns out at some point we don't need it, then it just keeps building up the stock portfolio. And there's capital gains. There are some stocks that I have that I'm not planning on keeping forever and ever, and so those ones I'm hoping to get a good amount of profit and then sell. And the other one like dividends is the interest from savings. Again, right now we're just letting it reinvest into our savings account, but at some point it'd be nice if it is a good amount to use for our bills so we don't have to go to an official nine to five job. Uh, but what exactly is the plan? Now, as for the plan, Right now, the plan is that if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that I want to pay off my husband's truck. Well, as looking at our finances, that should happen sometime 2025. So that once we do that extra $500, we're going to put another 50 back into Robinhood for the stock portfolio because I actually took 50 out. I used to get 100. And so we're going to put that back in. Then we're going to move that extra 100 that we were putting towards the truck to the house. And we're not going to be putting a whole lot into the house right now because it, you know, we're owed like over 200000 So it's like, it's going to take a while. But then we want to put the rest of that money into our different savings accounts. We have our regular savings account and then we have our, and then we have our emergency account. So we want to continue to build that. And so with that extra building and stuff, it'll increase our interest. And then of course that interest gets reinvested. And the goal there is to focus more on our regular savings and put more into that one to build that one up because that's the one I would like to use the interest from. And then a little bit less into the emergency because that one we don't want to touch at all unless it's 
an emergency. And that would hopefully get to the point where we can use that money to have us retired. But for me, my hope is to just move away from the nine to five uh, brick and mortar and still work, but maybe as a just for YouTube. And that way we would not officially be retired. So we know to be able to officially retire where we're both not working, we need about $9,000 a month. And that is including the inflation that happens. And so that is our plan. But I'm also hoping to just be a YouTube creator and maybe we don't need exactly 9,000. It could be maybe a little bit less, maybe about 8,000. So that is the goals that we're working towards. If you found this video helpful or entertaining in any way, please give it a like. And if you like stuff like this about finances or just my journey, please consider subscribing. And if you think anybody else might be interested in this kind of information, please share it with them. It definitely helps my channel grow, which helps me reach my goal of monetization. I appreciate everything. Thank you so much. Bye.